Hello to all you wealth partners. Well, I'm sitting here in our Cape Town office, and uh, if I lift up my screen, you can see um, it's late in the evening now, so a lot of the team, or well, all the team, have actually gone home. We just got uh, Gavin and uh, Lyndon. I don't know where Lyndon is, but he's here somewhere as well, um, in terms of us working. So, just uh, for everyone's purposes, we basically, uh, yesterday didn't work very well. We had uh, load shedding, and then uh, we were basically trying to onboard the Cedars uh, investors, and we had load shedding, and then my generator broke about half an hour into the uh, <laughs> into the webinar. So all in all, and my 3G stick wasn't working. So let's just double check. I'm not going to assume. Can you just tell me? Can you see me and hear me loud and clear? If you're on a webinar for the first time, it should be a little button on your top right corner. Okay, great. So lots of people are saying yes. So I'm going to I'm going to rock and roll. Now, one thing that I want to do is that uh, yesterday when we were onboarding some of the Cedars people, I basically realized there's quite a lot of stuff. And, you know, we've, we've been on this wealth partner journey for a long time. There's quite a lot of stuff that I don't want to just assume that people, are, you know, automatically know about in terms of where they are. So my request, Lee, and uh, I'm very, very grateful to have Lee online tonight, who's my, uh, my partner and actually heads up and is driving the whole community. So wonderful to have you online tonight, Lee, all the way from Dubai. Hi, good evening, everybody. So, Lee, if, uh, as, as uh, my request to you is please jump in, shout, say anything you want. Tell me if the screens aren't working or if you can't hear me or any of the above. Um, I've, I'm, like, super organized now. I've got all the telephone numbers if the Wi-Fi goes down so I can phone in. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll play it by you. But on, on that note, I'm going to rock and roll and, uh, and get going. So just to let people know, you know, obviously we did the Cedars uh, campaign. Many wealth partners contributed in that. We called it the 10X campaign as well. We ended up, you know, on many times winning awards for being the biggest mover and having the most number of investors in terms of that process. And what's fascinating to me is that we basically raised uh, 1.68 uh, million pounds, which was 2.2 million dollars, and it came from 683 investors. Um, we are <coughs> in the final stages of just um, clarifying everything with Cedars, and um, including the people that were offline. We're looking at over 700 uh, investors that came in uh, through this process. So, you know, something that we're very excited about and also something that I believe has potential to really build upon um, in terms of where we're doing. Now, just to clarify for the current world partners, please remember that we're not being written a check and Cedars are writing us a check. This includes uh, all the money that was raised from the beginning of the campaign, which started, um, to, you know, towards the end of August um, in terms of that process. Um, but but it is it's it's it is a huge uh, success, and for us I think one of the most important things is that we actually you know our hard cap was two and a half million dollars, and with the offline monies etc we 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 pretty much on or around um, that hard cap, and we had the board meeting last uh, Wednesday, and I pretty much uh, signed that off in preparation for the AGM, which is on the 29th of March. Now. Why do we have wealth partners and what are they? If you don't know, we, you know, it's a fancy name. It's our lingo for a shareholder. You know, back in 2014, we read this book, Behind the Cloud, by Mark Benioff. And in simple terms, in 1999, back here at the beginning of the company, he went out to the venture capitalists and the banks and everyone else and he said, listen, one day I want to, you know, build this company and, you know, I want to be able to put people's customers in the cloud. He called it CRM, Customer Relationship Management. And they said it's never going to happen. People will never let their databases leave the building. So he said, okay, well, let me go to my customers and ask them because they clearly believe in it. And what I found fascinating by the story is that it meant that you are dealing with aligned people. And it helped build a great system, a great platform, and also that the people were aligned in terms of winning together. You know, today it's the 14th biggest technology company in the world. It's worth $40, $50 billion, depending on, you know, who you talk to. And what I love about it is it's also been on a very purposeful journey. On the back of that, we created our wealth partners and we created the Wealth Collaborative Economy Honeycomb. Now, whether you do or don't know, the whole essence of this company has been built on nature's principles. So whether it's a bird flying in a flock can fly 70% further than a bird flying on its own, whether it's animals going across the plain, whether it's fish swimming in a shoal, it's, it's really important to understand that nature's laws are working together. Now, the 20th century was all about working 
on one's own. The 21st century is all about collaboration and abundance. And so we created the Wealth Collaborative Economy, and it actually came from this book, Exponential Organizations, um, by Sally Mashmal, uh, who Kevin has just brought out to South Africa, by the way. And he spoke about the honeycomb being the most resilient structure within nature. And so on the back of that, we created the Wealth Collaborative Economy. You've got empowered people co-creating a better world. And there's six major areas. You've got the real estate, so everything to do with property and real estate. You've got technology and everything to do with technology. You've got investors and both the online and offline community. You've got the vision and the mission. So that's around your MTP, your inner circle, your wealth university and your wealth movement. We're going to talk more about that tonight. You've got exponential, which is all about ideas and scale. Again, read this book if you want to understand that better. And then you've got the general business concepts of legal operations, finance, etc. And what we found for most of our wealth partners is that they wanted to participate. They didn't want to be passive, but they also didn't want a day job. And so they could find areas that they loved to learn about, to grow, to be around like-minded people, and to ultimately you know, further themselves. And so I tend to say to people like that little game that my son likes to play at birthday parties, you know, take the, take the donkey's tail and, and pin yourself to, to the area that you want to learn more and collaborate. But this is our wealth collaborative economy upon which we've built our wealth partners and upon which we really want to grow it uh, going forward now. We've also built the entire concept on Zig Ziglar's principle. You can have anything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. Now, you know, think of that wording. You can have anything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. So what's the purpose of this webinar tonight? Well, we want to help you get what you want. And the more we help you get what you want, the more we can all get what we want. And equally, what we want to do tonight is we want to teach you, share with you, and show you many different ways upon which you can help others. And if the more we help others, the more we're all going to help each other in terms of getting to where we want to get to. This is a framework which I spoke about in the CEO letter uh, back, it came out in September, October last year. Once a year, I write a letter. I copied uh, Warren Buffett and uh, Jeff Bezos. And so if you don't have the CEO letter, just type in, you know, into the chat box, CEO letter, and we can make sure that we send the CEO letter to you. Again, I don't have time tonight to talk about old power and new power, but the old power methodology within the property real estate space was basically complying and being, you know, having the right regulations and then consuming. Whether you were a supplier, it was selling your product, and if you were an investor, it was trying to get you to invest. The new power behaviors are very different. It's about sharing. You know, it's what we're doing tonight. It's about sharing with friends, families, colleagues, etc. It's about affiliating and, and being part of the community. It's about adapting, you know, helping grow the community and adding value and, you know, helping on things like due diligence on projects and giving back and ultimately driving the whole smart investing concept. It's about funding. Each and every one of you have been invited to this webinar tonight because you are a shareholder. You are a wealth partner in this company. You are participating in the growth of this overall organization. It's about producing, whether it's you know producing content or, or producing uh, property developments or property partners, and then ultimately it's about shaping. And when you look at Wikipedia, there's 19 million people on Wikipedia, and you and I cannot just go and write something on Wikipedia. There are shapers to the Wikipedia community that drive the long-term sustainability of it. And this is very much the evolution that, that we are going on and that we're trying to drive. But the question I asked, and I don't know if anyone was online last night and they can remember, there's one radio station that every single person on the planet listens to. So my question to you is, do you know what that is? It's the most popular radio station listened to on this planet. Can anyone tell me what it is? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by all the responses coming through with such frequency. And uh, <laughs> Manu's answer, he was listening last night. And uh, Gary's also tried to give it a go. It's basically WIIFM. And it stands for What's In It For Me. So, you know, we're all wired, whether we like it consciously or subconsciously, Every one of you will be sitting there going, what's in it for me? So yes, we like the big picture and the purpose and everything we're wanting to achieve. But ultimately, people are, are sitting there with what's in it for me. And I tend to find that there's three reasons people become wealth partners. The first is they want to make a profit. 
and they, they ultimately want to see a financial return. The second is they want to be part of a global community of like-minded people. They want to grow together. They want to learn together. They want to become global citizens together. And the third is that they want to have a purposeful impact. They want to have a life of meaning, and they want to have a life that actually counts and, and, and one of destiny. So what I wanted to do was rather than wait till the end, I just wanted to share with you how we like to add value uh, to our wealth partners. The first one is the e-wealth pack. If you don't have the e-wealth pack, please shout, and we can make sure that we send through uh, the e-wealth pack to you. So if I pull it up here quickly, oh, where's my e-wealth pack gone? <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, e-wealth pack is a document that we put together. It's basically, you know, I've loved learning and growing and um, coaching and motivation um, since since my teenage years. And so what we've done is we've taken all the research from myself and, and all the other people and we brought it together in one place and we'd like people to be able to 10x their process. So whether this is for you or whether you want to share this with your friends, family, children, you know, go wild. Um, I, as we say, we've got investors in over 60 countries, you know, on four different continents. We'd have to be idiots. I would have to be an idiot not to be able to spot trends. So the first thing is the book, how to get access to the book. The second thing is the eight steps to wealth through real estate, the micro degree. You know, again, highly recommend either yourself or sharing it with others. The white papers for beginners, intermediates, and advanced. Then we have the recommended reading. So I find that a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, what books would you recommend? And so when I did this webinar last, last night, I, I referred back to my bookcase, which, you know, I live in a, uh, and, well, my office is untidy, but it's all the books that I've read. And or I've spoken to you so many times about Audible and the fact that you can listen to it on your phone. So I've broken down the books that I think are, and this is not a, 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 a perfect list, it's just the ones that I found on my bookshelf or in my Audible that I found had the biggest impact on me. So you've got the books in the mind, you've got life, you've got goals, you've got real estate. There's a whole breakdown of different books and courses by Dolph de Ruiz. You've got investment, you've got business, you've got leadership, you've got sales, and you've got biographies. So again, if you want this, just, just type in there e-wealth pack if you don't have it. We've got the blogs. So obviously there's a hell of a lot of content out there, but the most important blog posts, we've got the different websites, we've got life hacks. So, you know, I've just told you about Audible. You know, if you can't read or you don't read, which is most of us, um, you can actually go and listen to books on Audible while you're running or driving. And, uh, and then also these are just some courses that I've done that, um, you know, my wife and I have done or whatever that, that I believe are very, very valuable. And so that's our e-wealth pack. It's a very simple little document, um, just bringing together all the information. The second thing is the investor test. So if you go uh, back, and I am purposely jumping around tonight, if we go back here quickly, um, we've got the investor test, and you can actually go and do the investor test, and then once you've done the investor test, it'll take you about 10 minutes, you'll actually get the investor report. And what this investor report, it's about a 20-page document, it'll create your personalized path for wealth, whether you are brand new, or whether you are super sophisticated and experienced, all of us have a personal path to wealth. We call it our GPS. You know, when you get in your car, you've got a GPS. It firstly knows where it is, then it knows where it wants to get to, and finally it figures out where you've got to go. And um, there's five major areas. It's built on the laws of nature, it's built on the I Ching, and it's also built on the fundamentals of investing, wealth, and real estate. And this, this document um, will then help you, based on the five pillars, know where uh, to do. So depending on where you are, um, it'll then give you different uh, resources in terms of the next steps upon where to go. If you look at the investor test, and I don't have time tonight to go into it, but there's five major pillars, as I said, and you've basically got the investment quotient, so you've got the, the what, the how, the who, the when, and the why. And investment is all about following sequences. Um, there's age-old knowledge that's been around for thousands of years whether it's nature's principles or the I Ching, whether it's the fundamentals of investing or real estate or wealth, and it's all being brought together um, in, in these tests and, and investor reports um, and information. So if you don't have that, you know, go check it out. There's the eight steps to wealth micro degree. Again, you know, you can literally go on Genius U and, and look at it, or if you want to, you can even go on Udemy. And so Udemy is one of the biggest platforms in the world. You, you know, online education marketplaces, you can go online and you can actually uh, check at the courses or you can go on uh, Genius U and uh, do the same thing in terms of it. So, you know, this, this for me is, is you know, I've, I've traveled all over the world. 
effectively doing three hour onboarding presentations and um, it's all now digital. So the fact that people, you know, basically have excuses on not to get started, it's, it's all here now. And then we've got communication. So this one's an interesting one. You know, when we agreed with our wealth partners, we agreed that when we did the see this campaign that everyone that is that green and blue, they would effectively be on Telegram. Everyone that was um, silver or above, so effectively $10,000 or above, would be on WhatsApp. As you would have seen on the Global Wealth Group, we basically made that one-way push communication so that we don't have the chatter, so that people don't miss um, exactly um, the right information. It's really important that, that, that you know there's not too much noise in terms of what people are actually looking at. But what's also interesting is that you know we we still we still we are a community company. We want to embrace that. And so at the AGM, we're going to be making a proposal around communication where we're going to have some groups that will be social and people can can subscribe to those groups and then equally we're going to have um, the push one you know communication groups so that they're not noisy and and people you know don't miss important information like this webinar tonight uh, in terms of that in terms of that process so I just want to make sure that everything is going according to plan then we've got the wealth partner updates so I was doing these weekly I'm now doing them monthly based on feedback where every month we will be bringing it out. If you haven't seen the Wealth Partner update for February, please just ask for it. And um, every month we'll be bringing out the Wealth Partner updates. I do them on YouTube, and we'll put them out, out on the on the different groups, including emailing it out to people. It's really about living up to our three core values of trust, transparency, and alignment, and keeping you updated. There's too much going on in this company to give you quarterly or six every six months or even annual updates. It's it's not possible. Then we've got our AGM. This is the more formal occasion where certain resolutions need to be passed and we need to agree who the board's going to be for the following year, et cetera, et cetera. Our AGM, the next AGM is on the 29th of March. It's at 5 p.m. Uh, sorry, not 5 p.m. It's at 12 p.m. Uh, GMT, so um, uh, London time. Um, our head office is in London. And so that is uh, effectively two weeks away. Uh, you will be getting the formal AGM notices in the next... Uh, you know, in the next day or so. And there's two things that are just important here for, to manage expectations. In terms of the audited financials for 2018, they are not finalized, but there is a number of things that I would like us to, to have clarity on, to make decisions on, and I don't want to postpone the AGM uh, any further. And once the audited financials are in place for 2018, we can then hold a special AGM um, if it's necessary. In terms of events, well, we've got the Wealth Partner Meetups, we try to do these as regularly as possible um, in the different cities. And I definitely think that uh, if you're a wealth partner and you'd like to be doing a wealth partner meetup, just type in the city you're in, because I do think that it's probably something we should be aiming to try and do um, in the near future after Easter. Then we've got the Wealth Weekend. We didn't do one last year. These were always uh, highly successful and uh, something that I would like to get going uh, again this year, even if they're low key. Then on an annual basis, we do the Wealth Awards. We do the Wealth Movement event, which is an annual event, and we are looking to do uh, possibly one in China, one in London, and one in South Africa this year. And then if you don't have our manifesto, this is a manifesto we put together in 2015, and it's a manifesto for the group. And so again, if you don't have it, I'm purposely going through all this stuff for all the wealth partners to make sure that they've got access to it. Uh, this is the manifesto that, that, that we put together. In terms of the team charter, this is really how we drive the company. This is when, when we look at the strategy, we've got an annual rhythm. And what, what, what's important is that this document uh, breaks down um, the long-term goals, it breaks down the annual goals, it breaks it down into quarters. Now, again, I went through this in the Wealth Partner Update for February. I'm not going to repeat it tonight. Um, as an example, you've got the enterprise promise. There are eight other promises in terms of the big picture of us achieving um, our long-term vision. And if you don't have the Wealth Partner Update for February, I highly recommend that you watch it. And then there was a webinar that I've done a number of times. We did it in December and in January around the coming disruption to the $217 trillion real estate industry and how you can benefit. Now, again, if you haven't watched this, I do recommend it. You know, we, we, when, when I was lucky enough to go to Singularity University, I spoke about the intersection of long-term trends and how important it is uh, to look at these. And in this webinar, we spoke about the eight technological trends that are all intersecting and the eight societal trends that are all intersecting. 
somewhere between 2020 and 2025 and why this creates such a momentous opportunity. And, um, and in this webinar, we went through all these details. And again, I'm not going to repeat it all. Uh, you, can, you can watch the recording. Some of the key highlights that I think are important, though, is that there's three metrics to our business. The number of transactions, the average fees, and the average transaction. Our aim is to be a billion dollar company. And to earn, you know, to, to, to achieve that, we need to earn a revenue of, of at least $100 million or more. So the metrics that we want to drive is that on an on a annual basis, we want to increase the number of transactions. We want to decrease the average transaction size. In an annual year, we need to look at at least a million transactions with an average fee on both the demand and the supply side of 5% and an average transaction side, uh, a size of $2,000, which equals uh, $2 billion or $100 million in revenue, as we said. So these are the core metrics upon which we drive the business. We've certainly got a track record. You know, we've, uh, the platform's been live now uh, for five years. We've got in members in 127 countries. We've got investors in 62 countries. We've done over $500 million in deals. We've had over $80 million go through the platform. We've won a whole bunch of awards. And the part that I'm probably proudest of is we've got a higher than 70% reinvestment rate. And, you know, it's interesting for many of us that have been on this journey for a long time, we just sort of take that for granted. If you mention these numbers to anyone anywhere in the world, you, you get their attention. They, they really do actually pay attention. In terms of the team, we've got a diverse team now, uh, both culturally and experience-wise and across countries. You can see we've got Gavin, who, who waved at you there, that's been heading up the tech team. We've got Lyndon, um, that, that's been heading up the PMO. We've got Hilda, who's now immigrated and, and based out of Austin. Um, uh, in terms of, we've got Gary Begenstein, He's been helping on the Scrum Master Coach. We've got Paul Niederer that's, you know, helping with global compliance. We've got Ken, Ken Hu that's been doing an amazing job out with the China team. We've got Lee Rush who's online tonight and out of Dubai and been very instrumental in driving the community and everything that her and Richard are doing around, um, around the Wealth University. We've got uh, Ken Williams that many of you met uh, through the Cedars campaign. And then we've got Richard Dunn. That, that is very much driving the overall group revenue. Now, Richard would have been online tonight. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. His daughter had to be rushed to hospital, um, and he's currently um, in hospital with, with her. Um, and if you look at our manifesto, point number 16 is family first. And so um, there was no debate as to whether he was going to be on this, uh, on this uh, webinar. So the question is, you know, we, we spoke a lot when we did the Cedars campaign about being the Amazon of global real estate. Now, is that bold? Is it aggressive? Is it ambitious? It's all of the above. However, if you don't have a vision, if you don't have a dream, I'm a big believer that if you don't know what the top of the mountain looks like, you'll never get there. And so the question we ask ourselves is, do people fully understand what a marketplace is? And this is a great slide. You know, when you look at Amazon, it's basically a $427 billion company, but it's a marketplace. And when you look at all the other traditional retailers, you add them all up, they're all billion dollar companies, and some of them have been around for 100 plus years, and yet they're nowhere near the size of Amazon. And so the question we asked ourselves, and, and the reason we went through the restructure and everything else, is that the idea for us was always to be your trusted global real estate marketplace. That's never changed. It's in the original documentation as far back as the very first Wealth Partner signed up back in 2014. And it's really important to understand the scale but also the pivot that we've recently gone through. And when I say the pivot, I don't think that the pivot, we, you know, sometimes when they say in business, you pivot and you change business direction. I don't think necessarily there was a pivot in changing business direction. There was just a pivot in understanding from a lot of people of, of, of how we are going after a marketplace. We were always going after a marketplace and why it's important. Now, the other thing when one looks at a marketplace is that there's multiple revenue streams. It's not just stuck with one revenue stream. And so when you look at Amazon, they've got Amazon's online stores, they've got the physical stores, they've got Amazon web services, they've got subscription services, they've got third party seller services, and they've got other services. Now there's a great infographic here. And again, I should be able to pull that up quickly for you. And um, yeah, so this is it breaking down how Amazon makes money. So I'm going to put this into the chat box. And uh, so you should be able to get access to it. And it basically breaks down um, their growth, what made them so successful, how they focused on the customers, how they focused on growth, 
um, and and ultimately, you know, following the money, etc. There's a whole a whole long thing around uh, what they do and how they do it. Um, and I find it absolutely fascinating as well with with resellers and everything else. So retail third party sellers, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which we're going to talk a lot about tonight um, in terms of that process. Um, I will at the end of this presentation, any of the uh, websites that I'm bringing up, I will just put in the chat box uh, for you. Um, I forgot to put some of the other ones, but I, I will put them up. OK, so why is that important and what does it have to do with us? Well, let's look at Amazon's growing profit. You know, at the end of the day, for, for many, many years, everything that Amazon ever made was invested into the company. They call it the J curve. They call it the valley of death. It's basically where the revenue doesn't outstrip the costs because they keep investing and growing uh, the marketplace. Now, as the undisputed champion you know, globally, Amazon's profits just continue to grow uh, year on year. And the question we ask ourselves is, what does Amazon do so well? And the answer is that they leverage their popularity and they increase its revenue streams wisely. Uh, we have a little internal saying called clipping the ticket, which ultimately means making money through multiple different steps along the process. And really what's happened as a fundamental mindset shift within our company over the last 12 months is that if we truly want to be the global real estate marketplace, we have to find many more ways to add value and equally many more revenue streams within, within, the, tick, you know, within the marketplace. And this is what I wanted to share with you tonight um, in terms of that process. So let's look at a couple of things. The first one is that there are multiple platforms out there uh, over 250 to be exact, and every single one of them is in country. And so we decided a long time ago to be the global solution. We, we fundamentally believe that property or real estate will always be a localized solution. There will always be local partners, local trusted partners with local knowledge. But there was a need for a trusted global real estate marketplace to connect all the local trusted partners into a global framework, into a global marketplace. And that's what we've done, and we're the only one in the space at the moment. The second one was when it comes to the business model. Now, we've discussed this so many times before, and I'm not going to go into it in detail tonight, but whether you're talking B2C, business to customer, whether you're talking B2B, business to business, or whether you're talking B2P, business to platform, we've actually built a platform that allows us to cater for all three different models. So at all different stages, of the property chain or the real estate chain, taking into account all the different uh, players, we've, we've built a platform and continue to build a platform which allows us to cater for all the different players within this. And you know, my, my, my business partner, Lyndon Booth, actually built this, uh, this framework, and I think it aptly explains where we're going and, and the infrastructure and the technology you need to enable yourself to be the true trusted global real estate marketplace. The next thing is, is that we need an ecosystem. And so a lot of people know Wealth Migrate. And here you've got Wealth Migrate. And it was the platform to help professional and high net worth individuals invest into first world countries. We've literally now, you know, at the end of last year, we beta launched the Wealth University. We're now officially launching it uh, properly, which is all around the wealth space, everything to do with learning around the wealth space. Then you've got the wealth movement, which is the live events and ultimately bringing people together with a purposeful impact of solving the greatest challenge on the planet. And with time, and we're not there yet, but with time, we will bring on Wealth Create, where ultimately we can empower everyone, uh, the full 99% on the planet, to be able to participate. And so there's a little video that I want to share with you. Some of you have seen it so many times before, but I think it's worth watching uh, an, you know, another time. And um, I just want to see if I've got it here. Uh, no, it's not, it's not coming up to play. Okay, don't worry about it. So this video is our ecosystem video. And again, I will share this um, on the Global Wealth Group. Um, I, you know, some of you have watched it so many times before, but I highly recommend watching it again, listening with new ears to truly understand um, what it is that, that we are building and, and how we're doing it. Because we, we, you know, we built this video and we've updated it a couple of times, and it really does epitomize uh, the solution that we're building within the ecosystem and why it's so important. So when you look at wild migrates and the alternative revenue streams, the marketplace, there's a lot of debate as to what it should be. 
And we're not basically going into those details yet, but what we are looking at is the different revenue streams. So what we're going to talk to you about tonight is the Wealth University, the directory, uh, the channel partners, and then also the business within a business, um, which I'm going to be explaining uh, to you in, in more detail. So let's look at that vision. And Richard Dunn was the one firstly to put this together. And we said, well, if you take a, a, a full global real estate marketplace, what would it involve? And we said the, the ones in green we, we, we already have, uh, the ones in orange we, we effectively are building, and the ones in white will be coming you know, in the future. So let's focus on purely the invest uh, side. And that's where we've got wealth migrant. And you know, it's a, it's a traditional marketplace. We get access to the best property partners, someone like Crestwood Property Solutions in London. We bring on what could be all best in, in America. We bring on uh, quality property opportunities. Then you, know, you and I as global investors get to participate. And then finally, there's four simple steps upon which people can actually participate uh, through the platform. Then we go to the next part, which is in orange which is the education side. And if we focus on that, you know, people say, well, why education? And this is a really important understanding, is that if you take online learning, there's been massive adoption already. But when you take online investing, there, there's been huge growth, but not necessarily mass adoption. And we believe the way to solve that is where you have a combination of education and um, investment. Now, for many of you who are online tonight, and I recognize many familiar faces, Many of you actually came into our ecosystem through education. You came in through an IPS breakfast or a webinar or a buyer's trip. That's all education. And so all that we're doing at the Wealth University is doing that on steroids. And I like to use the metaphor of a hot air balloon. You know, the Wealth University is the hot air balloon and Wealth Migrate is the basket. And as the Wealth University grows, it's going to dramatically pull up and grow the entire uh, global community building people's self-confidence, building their trust, and ultimately allowing them to be able to execute uh, through the platform. And so, if you want to check it out, go to wealthuniversity.org. Uh, we've, we, we've just launched uh, version two of the platform, so it's uh, got more details and, and more variety um, in terms of where we're at. I think I've got it open. Let me just open it up here. Yep, here it is, wealthuniversity.org. And so you can go in, you can see the little video about the Wealth University, you can learn from the different experts. You can effectively go in and learn about the different products, the Wealth in the Circle, the Digital Real Estate Mastermind, the Global Wealth Mastermind. You can see all the different things that you'll get from it and you can request a brochure. Something else that I thought you might find very interesting is for those of you that don't like emails and WhatsApps and whatever, you can actually go to events and you can see when all our different events are. So like here's tonight's webinar or the different webinars that are effectively coming up um, over the time, over the next, uh, over the next couple of, um, <clears throat> what do we call them, weeks and months. You can also see if it's a product like digital real estate, um, which is only available to people who are actually members of the digital real estate mastermind, or the inner circle, which is only available to people that are part of the inner circle um, in terms of that process. So let's look at some of the links. So you've got uh, the overall address for the Wealth uh, University is the wealthuniversity.org. Um, then you've got the wealthuniversity.org for the inner circle and the wealthuniversity.org for the digital real estate mastermind. Now, again, as shareholders, as wealth partners, we're now talking behind the scenes. The value for the clients is exposing them to global experts, uh, sharing, learning, and growing in one location. It's low cost, it's interactive Q&A, and it's staying relevant and up to date. And, um, you know, this, this uh, financial education is where the future is going. And, you know, when you go to TED Talks, there's lots of information. If you go to Google, there's even more information. But most people don't know where to find the right information from trusted partners um, in terms of where it is. In terms of the value for the company, well, it's low cost, it's digital revenue, it's education, it's creating tomorrow's investors today. And also, it has no regulation. You're not dealing in a regulated space when you're doing education which is very different when you're doing investment. So let's look a little bit at the wealth in the circle. I want to just uh, share with you some details around this. And um, if I go, you can see we've got a, a, a new um, web page. And you can go and watch a video here about what the inner circle is all about. Now, for most of you, you're actually part of the inner circle already. If you invested in the Cedars campaign in, let me just get this right, um, uh, was it blue or above, Lee? Tell me if I'm getting my maths right here. Uh, 
Blue and above. Blue. Which one was it? Blue and above. Blue and above. So a thousand, if you invested a thousand dollars or more, you get access to the inner circle. Right. So everyone that was blue above got access to the inner circle. And um, for any of our wealth partners that have invested 250 or more, uh, they've got uh, inner circle for free. And there's everything in between. Um, we do highly recommend the inner circle. Um, I get asked all the time, you know, to, to solve uh, these five problems. So the first one is being part of a global community, being able to chat and, and, and ask people around the, the whole wealth space. Uh, the second is to learn while doing. So again, I've, we've spoken about this already, 20th century, you went out to learn. So like if you take your kids, you know, they, could, they should be part of the inner circle. They can learn while doing. Learn from mentors. You know, I, uh, I get asked all the time to do coaching. It's, it's just physically not possible. But, but with the inner circle, we can do it at scale um, in terms of coaching and mentoring. Then it's about saving time. You know, I'm a big believer in coaching and you know, I've been working with people like Roger for eight years. And, um, you know, what I love about Roger Hamilton is he compresses time for me. You know, I do two hours coaching with him and what he finds all over the world and, and in 30 days and brings to me in two hours is extremely, extremely valuable. And we're going to do the same thing with our partners, with our deals, with information and knowledge. And then finally, inspiration. You know, most people don't believe that, um, that uh, that's wealth is even possible or that it's for them. And yet by being in a group of like-minded people, it truly can uh, take them to the next level. And so if you go through this, there's a whole bunch of things. You can see there's access to all the groups. So this is quite an important one. So up until now, the digital real estate group, the exponential technology and the cryptocurrency groups have all just been a bit of a free fall. We're now putting them uh, behind an organized community, a paid for, um, you know, groups. And um, the reason for that is that they, we're going to manage them properly. We're going to be adding more value. Um, they're going to, you know, ultimately going to add more value in people's lives. But people that aren't part of the inner circle come the 1st of April uh, will be removed from the group. Um, so we, we're going to be managing them properly in, in terms of that process. You can see there's the inner circle Facebook group. We've got the weekly wealth insights, which is every Friday I bring out videos. From, from lessons I've learned from, from wealthy people. Uh, there's a once a month, we've got a webinar um, with, with experts in the residential, commercial, international, and then also invited guests. And then there's even down to the Monday motivational quote. You know, if you wake up Monday and every Monday, we just put out a, a motivational quote and you can see all the different people um, that we've already interviewed um, in terms of that process. So that's the inner circle. And uh, just as a matter of interest down the bottom here, it's 250 a year or it's 25 a month. And, um, you know, if it's something that you believe could add value to your colleagues or to your friends or even to your children, then, you know, we, we, we highly recommend that, um, that people participate. And Lee is going to share. We do have a special uh, discount as well for Wealth Partners. Then the next thing is we've got the Digital Real Estate Mastermind. So this one is really interesting because we're dealing at the tipping point of technology and, and property or real estate. And the whole idea here is that we're going to have global authorities. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have time um, to be scouring the internet and finding all the latest information. So we've got a global authority in blockchain. We've got a global authority in exponential technology. We've got a global authority in digital currency. We've got a global authority in future trends, and we've got a global authority in global real estate. And every month, they will make a five to eight minute video, like a small little TED talk, on the major changes that are happening within in this space but specifically for the property industry. Then we will also, once a month, um, have a webinar where I will actually interview uh, one of those global authorities uh, where we'll go deeper into um, their area of expertise. We've got access to the, uh, to the different groups. We've got going to have an annual conference and then also a membership library where, like, as an example, if there's a latest blockchain report or exponential technology in the property space, um, people will be able to get access to it. So this, you know, there's a lot of masterminds and things out there um, around these different areas, but there's not one that's bringing it all together just in the property space. And so you can actually go and read all about it. You can see all the different uh, value adds that people can get by participating in it and why people should be part of the digital real estate mastermind. And again, this is available um, to anyone that, that invested uh, $10,000 or more. So I think that was uh, silver. Um, in terms of the process. And you can see the different people who are involved here between David Orban, Roger Hamilton, Willem van der Post, um, et cetera. And, and that is 
primarily aimed at people that, that really want to be at the forefront of where technology is going in the property industry. And that's an annual charge uh, and or a monthly charge uh, where people can participate. And my understanding is, Lee, if people want to go in and they, they, they can basically put in a promo code, uh, WP999, which um, if they are a wealth partner, will give them quite a significant discounts. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so what we decided to do was uh, for people who uh, wanted to, current wealth partners, who wanted to be part of the Digital Real Estate Mastermind and Inner Circle, um, they could go on between now and the end of March and use the code WP999 um, and they'd get both of those um, programs, Inner Circle and Digital Real Estate Mastermind, for $989. Uh, um, and for anyone who is already has access to Inner Circle and would like to um, upgrade to having Digital Real Estate Mastermind and Inner Circle, they just want to drop me a note and we can work the, walk them through that process as well. Perfect. And um, and again, you know, this might be something that, uh, that, that you think other people might be interested in, which is something we're going to talk about now, um, but specifically also, you know, children, etc., your children, because our whole idea is to keep growing this, this space. Then um, this, this is a little bit behind, and I'm to blame for this because there's been so much going on this year getting it set up. But in terms of the global real estate mastermind, it's where I'm going to walk a journey with 10 people and ultimately uh, take them through the eight steps. And um, again, from a mastermind perspective. And then finally, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this, but um, something that we're looking to bring out in April is um, the global wealth mastermind. Am I allowed to talk about it, Lee, or must I keep my mouth shut? No, go for it. So um, I uh, flew to America uh, to spend a day with Hilda um, because we got a lot of feedback, and Richard Dunn spent a lot of time talking to Hilda. And there's so much um, interest in Hilda's business ability, um, everything in terms of women and wealth, technology, um, she's she's immigrated to America. She's built a massive business and sold it. And um, our, our most high-powered uh, mastermind is actually going to be run by Hilda. Um, we're actually just trying to finalize the details with her. She's about to go on spring break. And uh, when she's back, we will um, have all those details and let people know about it. Um, so that's going to be our premier uh, mastermind uh, within within the Wealth University, which I have to say I'm super excited about. I've read... I've read um, their 12 month plan and <laughs> I want to sign up. <laughs> it's uh, it's really interesting. And then uh, and then the next thing is the directory. So we get asked all the time, it happens to me virtually on a daily basis, can you recommend a good uh, property developer? Can you recommend a good lawyer? Can you recommend a good accountant? Um, just in the last week or so, the Wealth Partners have been, can someone recommend a good structuring person? Can someone recommend a good you know, tax attorney? And so we see that as the service area and um, it's why it's in orange, and we actually call it our directory. And really, what we've um, what we're modelling it on is house. So if you go to house, uh, there it is. And what house is is for anyone that wants to uh, do renovations, they can find all the different uh, key players within within the space, basically. So if you want to understand what we what we're thinking and how we're doing it. Uh, bringing all the trusted partners and and uh, and professionals together, um, we will have that you know on the platform. Because again, just investing is one thing. You know, you still need structuring, you need tax, you need compliance, etc. And so, from our perspective, what we've done with the directory is to enable a service-based business anywhere in the world, an opportunity to list on the global real estate marketplace, and get access to global clients. The value for the business is that. Uh, you know, the, the, the partner that's on the ground, they will get global exposure, they'll get more clients, they'll increase their business networks, they'll get access to the global real estate mastermind. So it's all around education, technology, and, and, and how it will impact and, and grow their business. They'll get access to the groups and communities and interaction. And most importantly, it's about growing their digital footprint and ultimately their profit. And then the value for Wealth Migrate is that it'll be an easy step to building relationships. So again, you know, in the past, it was you, you could only, if you fit in a box, then you could come on the platform. Uh, now, you know, there's, there's different uh, partners that we can bring on. It's different revenue streams. It brings more activity to the platform. It adds to the platform interactions and revenue. It builds the audience. Um, it provides professional services to clients. 
and it also um, fills up the shop in, in terms of what we're doing. Now, if you're interested, there are actually two brochures uh, on this. So the first one is this one here, and uh, which which is for a property partner in terms of showcasing um, on the global platform. So if you are interested, we can uh, we can share that with you. And for some reason, I don't have the other one open, so I'm just going to open it up quickly here. Come on, man. And this is really the <coughs> around you and your digital future and why it's so important uh, taking into account all the digital disruptions that have happened. So again, if you're in property or you're a service provider or you're a lawyer or you're an accountant, um, then this is certainly something that, uh, that you should be looking at. And if I go back to that directory, these are all the type of businesses that we are looking to bring on. So accountants, commercial real estate agents, conveyances, developers, financial planners, immigration agents, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, again, it's it's all about adding value and bringing trusted partners uh, to the global real estate uh, marketplace in terms of where we're at. And um, just, Lee, is there anything that I'm missing out there that you want to add to that? No, I think you covered it pretty well, except that, um, just to say that um, everybody knows somebody. You know someone who could use this, who isn't strong at um, having a global footprint, and someone who, on the flip side, you know someone who can help Wealth Migrate um, add extra value to our current members and investors. So if everyone could think about it, let us know. Uh, those aren't the only um, categories that we're looking to fill. So as we've said there, if you don't see the category there that you think we should have or that you think could add value to yourself or anyone else, just let us know. Yeah, and you can see, uh, I mean, it's in the brochure, um, but I've, I've brought up all the things that would add value to uh, the partners. Now, remember remember the vision. We believe that property or real estate will always be a localized business, always. I don't care how good technology gets, um, but where the opportunity lies is bringing all those trusted partners and linking them into a global framework, a trusted global framework, and ultimately providing them with all these different um, value adds in terms of what we're doing and um yeah so very much agree with lee and, and we're looking you know in the beginning we want to work by referral so if you know as an example lee ron has introduced me to a few people in the last week and um you know he's a trusted wealth partner we've known him a long time he's recommending us to to he's introduced us to a few people and just by virtue of that introduction it's it's a far safer way to do business than, than to you know be cold calling people. So we have no intention of cold calling people. We're going to do this uh, entirely through relationships and bringing on trusted partners with, with track records um, in terms of that process. Okay, and then we get to the exciting bit, which is a business within a business. And um, and you know for me, this really was a concept that Richard uh, brought out. Now again, I wish Richard could share it with you tonight, and and he certainly will be on the webinar on the 28th of March where I've watched, I've known Richard since 2008, and I've watched him uh, build one of the most successful Australian property uh, sales companies in, in Australia. Um, he then helped another company um, achieve that, and they were in Southeast Asia. And then he helped a Chinese company, actually, uh, that did phenomenally well in, in China as well. And um, how they basically did it was by enabling people to create businesses within a business. What does this do? Well, it allows everyone to contribute and everyone to participate um, in terms of this process. And so when we talk to the wealth partners and we say to wealth partners, well, you know, look, there's, um, you know, we've, we've got the wealth university, we've got obviously products in, 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 in the wealth migrate store, and, you know, we've got the directory, etc. What we've basically done now is we've put together and built all the back end systems to allow people to refer. Um, so as an example, if there's a good lawyer in England, and that lawyer gets referred to us and, and they pass the due diligence and they actually sign up on the platform, then that person uh, gets paid 25% of whatever revenue uh, the platform would generate. Now, why is this important? Well, we ultimately want to help people build a business within a business. We want to help people become global citizens. We want to help people 
um, build their passive income. And on the other side of the fence, what it does for the business is a tremend it, it tremendously uh, grows the business. So if we look at it, referral marketing is one of the main contributors to revenue. Amazon further scaled their marketplace by creating a simple way that people could build businesses within businesses where people could earn money from referring other people to the site uh, who buy. And the value for the business, so again, you know, the, 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 the business that's wanting to be part of the global real estate marketplace, we've already discussed this. They get all, all of these different things. The value for Wealth Migrate is that, you know, we, we get um, all the different uh, components of, of um, the different people coming into the marketplace, the activity, the revenue, driving into actions, building the audience, providing professional services. So everything I've already explained tonight that is critically, critically important in terms of the big picture and what we want to do and how we want to do it. And I wanted to finish off um, with two bits of research on this. So you can see down here the source. Where's my mouse button? Oh, there, my mouse is back. You can see the source down the bottom here. It's wolfgangdigital.com forward slash KPIs 2019. And when you look at the retail and all the different areas, the referral area has been one of the most successful areas in terms of driving revenue. Um, in terms of, so it's way above display, it's way above social, it's way above email, um, it's actually even above direct. Um, paid search is, is having a good fight and then, and then you've got organic. Now if you look at another piece of the search, which is down here, IRP Commerce, and we can give you all these links, you can see that paid search marketing is the most successful um, way to, to reach people, and the second is affiliate. So for us, um, I want to be very careful and very clear here. We're not building an Amway. We're not trying to build downlines upon downlines. You know, we want to help businesses build businesses within businesses. So if someone goes and builds a business and puts it on Amazon, it's not suddenly available to a whole bunch of other people. It's not suddenly, you know, mass marketing and whatever. It's a business within a business. And it's very important um, that people understand uh, that concept in terms of where it is and what we're doing, but also why we're doing it. You know, not only is it to benefit those businesses, but it's also one of the most scalable ways to ultimately fulfill on the vision, which is the global real estate marketplace. And then really for me, I'm just looking here, I've got notes just to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. The final part of that puzzle is the wealth movement. You know, we speak a lot about, about empowering a billion people. We talk about helping the 99% to be able to invest like the top 1%. You know, we talk about the wealth gap. This is a picture from Johannesburg where you've got a squatter camp and you've also got you know, people living in absolute opulence. We've got the, the world poverty clock, and this is quite an interesting one. Um, where is it gone now? There it is there. So you can go to worldpoverty.io and you can literally see uh, the impact that, that people are having. And, I mean, it's interesting that it talks about India there. You know, Paul Nero, we'll talk more about this at the Wealth Partner update at the end of March, but he's just had a highly successful trip to India. I uh, found out so many um, different uh, components, and we've also got a big partner, a big wealth partner on the ground there that, that has invested and, and is, has been working with Paul for the last week in terms of um, setting up India. Just as a matter of interest, Paul gave me a stat this morning that blew me away. Um, of the Indian population, <clears throat> something like 45% will be millennials, by 2025, I think it was 2025, which equates to like 600 million people. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Um, in terms of the richest 1%, you know, earning more than 50% of the world's wealth, you know, depending on where you live in the world, you know, you, you geographically won or lost the lottery. If you were a lady, you know, unfortunately the odds were very much against you, which is why Women and Wealth and everything Hilda wants to drive and, and, you know, the, the global wealth mastermind and everything else uh, becomes so powerful. And just by the way, for the men, um, the global wealth mastermind is also for men. <laughs> um, it's, it's, we we want to empower people uh, equally. And then if you're a millennial, you know, you just really unfortunately were born at the wrong, the wrong place in the wrong time. And we want to write um, many of these different um, long-term trends that have been going in the wrong direction. You know, if you were at Davos in January this year where all the, the World Economic Forum and all the wealthiest people in the world and political leaders get together. Their number one thing was how do we create a fairer economy? And a lot of people talk about how 
you know, the old days was, was the old days could be as far back as three, five years ago. The world was about scarcity and it was about um, competition. And it's now about abundance and it's about collaboration. Now, I'm just watching the clock because it's four minutes to eight uh, my time and I'm due to have load shedding at eight o'clock. So if you lose me, I am nearly finished, but if you lose me, I'm going to phone in. Um, you know, to remind everyone, the problem for investors is that they are stuck in country, that there are massive barriers and hassles, and ultimately that the global deals is, are very difficult to do for tax and structuring. And so, you know, the 99% just truly can't invest like the top 1%. And there's that video that, if you haven't seen it, which is the 60-second clip, on why property investing is so difficult, expensive, inefficient, and very hard. And maybe, Lee, we can just share these two videos again on the Global Wealth Group. I'm purposely not doing them tonight uh, for fear of load shedding <laughs> and wanting to finish before the load shedding runs out. Um, so we, we asked ourselves the question, you know, why can we not help the 99% invest like the top 1%? And, you know, 49% of the world's wealth is held in real estate. Only 12.9% of the world's population has access to that real estate. Of that 12.9%, you and I and everyone else on this call, less than 1% of us are statistically are going to retire wealthy. And we wanted to change that. We wanted to allow the 99% uh, to invest like the top 1%. Our vision is to make investing as simple as a swipe of the finger and ultimately from $1. And I always say to people, you know, they say to me, you know, $1 is not going to change people's lives. And I agree with them, it won't. But it can change their habits, and if we change their habits, we'll change their financial lives. And as far back as 2014 and the very first business plans, in fact, the very first business plan back in 2010 actually had this, which is where we will see the minimum investment coming down and ultimately the global real estate marketplace uh, becoming a reality. And Wealth Create, you know, truly will be, you know, where we get to when we can get it down to a dollar per person per investment. We're not there yet. We're still dealing with the middle class, the high net worth, the professionals uh, within Wealth Migrate. And our social promise within the wealth movement, this was actually written by Hilda. And it imagine a world, a world where most or all people are literate, a world where education is par for the course, a world where women are treated as equals, a world where all people have access to investment opportunities. Imagine a world where 6 billion people on the planet who currently live in poverty can live a better life. Imagine that world. The wealth movement aims to create that world. And so if you remember what I said earlier today, you know, most people become wealth partners because they want to make a profit. They want to be part of a global community where they can learn, grow, and, and ultimately become global citizens. And they want to have a purposeful impact, um, one that will shape their destiny. And this, for me, tonight, hopefully we've been through all three of those areas, showing people how they can make a profit, showing them how they can be part of the global community, um, how they can add value and how they can receive value and also how they can have a purposeful impact um, in terms of the bigger picture. Just to let everyone know, you know, because of the, um, the CEDARS campaign, we committed um, to pay for Bongi for 2018. Um, through that campaign, this, uh, this young gentleman is an incredible uh, a person, and ultimately since 2015, when we had our first Wealth Movement event, all the Wealth Partners agreed to, to put him into a private school uh, he continues to go from strength to strength. He's in his final, second final year, a second last year of, of high school. He ultimately wants to become an electrical engineer. And um, I always say to people, watch out Elon Musk. And so, you know, know that uh, if you've participated as, as part of the CEDARS campaign, you're having a meaningful and purposeful impact um, in terms of, you know, this, this young gentleman's life. And again, at the AGM, one of the resolutions that we need to make as a shareholder is are we going to continue that in 2019? You know, from me personally, um, you know, I made a commitment as a wealth partner and um, I believe that we've got to go all the way through, but we also need to agree that at an, at, at an AGM level. And then really, some of you might or might not have heard this before, and um, <clears throat> I'm waiting for the load shedding to, to kick in, but there's, there's a story of an old man and there's a young boy and the old man and the young boy are walking along a beach. And the young boy keeps looking at the old man because every now and again, the old man leans down and he picks up a starfish and he throws it into the sea. And the young boy is so confused because he basically says, 
he looks down and he looks up at the beach and there's just thousands, hundreds of thousands of starfish all along the beach. And eventually he says to the old man, he says, old man, why are you picking up these starfish? There's hundreds of thousands of them. You're never going to be able to save them all. And the old man leans down and he picks up one starfish and he says, it mattered to that starfish. And when we talk about empowering a billion people, when we talk about becoming an, a billion dollar company and, and making you a significant profit while equally having a purposeful impact, I believe that it doesn't happen by, by helping a billion people. I believe it helps by helping one person at a time. So what was the purpose of this webinar tonight? Well, I believe as a global community, as one that has been built and founded and, and ultimately copied um, on Salesforce and, and this behind the cloud, is that each of us has a responsibility and also an opportunity to go out there and to help people and to, to, to share with them, whether they're on the demand side and they want to go to the Wealth University or they want to go to Wealth Migrate uh, or they're on the supply side and we want to bring them on on the directory side or you want to actually start to drive and, and, and build a business within a business. You know, Lee, if you reach out to Lee, She's got all the details where you can go and you can fully understand that and, and how it actually operates. But if each and every one of us commits to consistently helping one person, then we as a collective whole will ultimately get to our goal. And I leave you with one closing image, and that's the impact meter, and this comes from Roger Hamilton. We all get to decide whether we want to have a personal service which is going to solve one person's problem. We, you know, we can decide if we want to be part of a user group and maximize the value and market fit. We want to look if we're going to build a business or even a scalable team or have market leadership that will attract resources and partnerships. But what about a national impact where we ultimately you know, change a country's future or do we want to have a global impact? And each and every one of you tonight gets to have that decision. Each and every one of you gets to decide what level of impact do you want to have? What level of impact do you want to have as part of this this global world partner community. And I think that is all from me. It's always an honor and a privilege to share this with you tonight. You know, I'm super excited about um, how, as a marketplace, we've pivoted, and most importantly, about how we're bringing on the multiple new revenue streams. And I truly believe that all of the things that we've shared with you tonight will help us fulfill on the vision. And that, you know, is ultimately with us putting smart investing in every single person's pocket. We will then have not only a profitable, but a purposeful impact on this planet. And hopefully for all of you, we're gonna learn, we're gonna grow, and we're all gonna become global citizens uh, in that process. And so thank you very much for your time. It's always an honor and a privilege to share with you. I will stay online as long as my electricity lasts in terms of any questions you've got around that. And Lee, please uh, fire away if there's anything that I have forgotten that I'm in trouble for. No, I think um, it's really, really well done. Thank you for your time and your energy, Scott. I'd just like to leave everyone with a quote that I recently found. It's actually a joining of two quotes. So the original quote was, culture eats strategy for breakfast. And that was by Peter Drunker, um, who's a management guru. But it was taken one step further when it said, but culture gets its appetite from purpose. And that was John O'Brien, head of purpose for Porta Novelli. So if you put those two together, it's culture eats strategy for breakfast, but culture gets its appetite from purpose. And our purpose is to make smart investing as simple as having it in your pocket for everybody. So thanks for your time. We're here for your questions. Yeah, so if anyone's got any questions, there's a lot of people that have asked for the different brochures. Um, we do understand there's a lot of new information and a lot of stuff that we've uh, that we've put out. Again, to remind everyone, you know, you can now go to wealthuniversity.org, so O-R-G, and all the different things around the Wealth University are going to be there. If you want the directory uh, brochures, just type in their directory or reach out directly to Lee. Lee, what is your email um, or, or what email do you want them to use? I, I have put it in the group chat and they can just reach out to Lee Rush at wealthmigrate.com. Great. Um, thank you, Lee. And, um, you know, so we've, we've got a lot of the brochures. If you, if you believe 
that um, there's people that we should be talking to within the, uh, the directory space or bringing on trusted uh, supply partners. You know, in uh, you know, please please put them in contact uh, with either Lee or myself directory. Uh, directory. You can see it's late. <laughs> Later, yeah. um, direct Lee. Um, and uh, the reason being is that now that we've finished the Cedars funding campaign, you know, I, uh, with a team of people, are actively working on um, the supply side and, and bringing on more and more trusted partners uh, with more opportunities. As I said, on some of the groups, my commitment is to bring at least 10 as quickly as possible in terms of that process. So the question I've got for everyone is, do you have any questions? And if you don't, that means we've either completely bored you to death or we've wowed you, which could be the alternative, or you've gone to sleep. <laughs> one, of the, one of the three. So uh, yeah, just let us know if you've got any questions. I'm just going to put, while we're talking, I'm going to put the, uh, the links for the different things that I've spoken about into the chat group. So I've just put in the poverty clock there. I'll put in the micro degree. Um, what else have we got? Uh, the investor test. And then while you're doing that, Scott, if I'd just like to um, say to everyone that next week um, we are going to be having dedicated webinars on everything that is the Wealth University. And then we're also having one that's uh, just focused around business within our business, um, how you can benefit all the ins and outs, what it means, what you need to do if you're interested, all of that. So um, look out for those invitations and the details for those uh, webinars that are coming up. But if you also want to put that into the, the chat box, I can send you those details personally. I did, um, I did put in the chat box for everyone, Lee, the wealthuniversity.org forward slash events which actually has those webinars um, that you're talking about. So if I remember rightly, yeah. on the 26th of March, we've got the launch of the Wealth University. And on the 28th of March, we've got a specific webinar around a business within a business. Uh, Richard, Dunn and Lee have been working very hard on this. And our aim is to get the first person uh, that can earn a million dollars through our platform. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. Uh, yep. So, uh, Ish Warren said, um, hello, everyone. It's an interesting webinar. Should we just email your contacts to build the directory or should we introduce you? Um, I would prefer if you could introduce us. So, we would, we would like to have uh, relationships that are intact, um, you know, where people know them and also people that generally. What we would like is if you've already got experience working with that partner, um, because again, the whole basis, there's one word around our entire marketplace and that's trust. So we want to have trusted partners. And generally when it comes to trusted partners, we want to know that they can deliver. Anyone can promise a good game. Um, whether they can deliver or not is, is a separate conversation. Um, Okay, so Gary's asked um, um, how um, an example of the earning structure with a business within a business. Uh, Gary, my request is, oh, and there goes the, are you still with me? Yep, we've still got you. In the dark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this is working, that's quite amazing. Anyway, um, Gary, on the 28th, we're going to be running through um, the exact uh, business within a business concept. But in simple terms, the way that um, I understand it working is that if the platform earns ten dollars, um, the person that you know is running that business would earn a minimum of twenty-five percent. Uh, so, so you know, at least two dollars fifty, um, and then depending on what else they do within the business, within a business, you know, the, those percentages can can increase as well. Um, but again, the idea tonight was just to give an overall framework, and then uh, on the twenty-eighth, which is next. Thursday, we'll be going through that in a lot more detail. Uh, next, when no, next Tuesday is the launch of the Wealth University and the specific products. Okay, and um, if you're not sure in terms of you know whether you're part of the inner circle or the digital real estate mastermind, just reach out to us. Uh, hopefully, it is pretty clear based on the different levels. 
Um, we are really excited about launching this. Obviously, as a wealth partner, you can um, you, hopefully you can see now that we're going to what we've given away for free for a long time. We are now going to be doing in a more professional way, um, where people are actually going to be paying for it. I do believe that when people pay, they pay attention, so they'll 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 value it actually more. And then it also allows us to do it uh, more professionally. And obviously, one of the key things as a shareholder is that you want us to be driving uh, different revenue streams as well, not just being reliant on whether we have a big lumpy commercial deal um, closing once a quarter. Right, are there any other questions? I'm quite surprised. This is like the fastest webinar I think I've ever done in my life. <laughs> and it worked, no technology issues. Um, just to let everyone know as well, um, that through the CEDAS qualification um, for the Wealth University, you will be getting an email saying, thank you for signing up and these are your login details. Um, it will be a temporary password. You can just go in and change and you should be getting those emails um, through the course of this week into this week. Um, and then you'll be able to log on to the different uh, courses within the Wealth Uni University, either digital real estate mastermind and in a circle or just in a circle, depending on what you qualify for. Perfect. And then I know I've said it, but I'm just going to repeat it. You know, if you don't have access to a lot of the different materials I've shared, you know, just reach out to us, make sure that you do. And um, because obviously it's they're quite valuable and, you know, you can you can share them with others even. And, um, you know, it's all about adding value. And our most important thing is to add value. Um, the more we add value, the more we, we, we ultimately going to achieve the vision. Um, it, why don't you give us those quotes again, Lee, on the, the culture? Um, you said around the two quotes on culture. Okay, so the first one was by uh, Peter Drucker, and it's culture eats strategy for breakfast. And then the add-on to that is, but culture gets its appetite from purpose. That was by John O'Brien. So um, I think it speaks very well into what we're trying to build. But then Wealth Migrate and the Wealth University, that culture eats strategy for breakfast, but culture gets its appetite from purpose. Because around it all, if we do not have a purpose and a meaningful purpose, um, then we may, not, may as well not be doing what we do. Wow, Lee. Uh, can we make that our motivational Monday quote for next week? <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, <laughs> it's all the world partners who are line, online and all of the, them that are going to watch the recording at another time. You know, you've all got my uh, WhatsApp details. I communicate with all of you directly. Uh, please reach out to me. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about what we're sharing here. If you've got questions or things we can answer. I know I'm asking for a lot of work for myself, but um, you know we are a community and we are driving all in the in the same direction. And sometimes people need to have understanding um, in terms of where we're going. And hopefully the metaphor of Amazon uh, gives people clarity of what we're trying to achieve, why we're doing it, how we're going to do it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And don't forget about the AGM on the 29th of March, uh, Friday, the 29th of March, 12 p.m. GMT. So that's like, 2 p.m. South African time, I think it's 4 p.m. Dubai time, um, yeah. 6 p.m. Indian time, like depending on where you are, um, all the different time zones. Um, it, will be, it will be important to be part of the AGM <clears throat> if you want your say to be heard. Um, okay, Lee, well, I think that's all from everyone. Um, if there are no further questions, then I'm going to uh, call it an evening. Everyone's got my details if they want to reach out to me directly. So, um, and, and obviously, you've put yours out as well. So. Um, you know, if anyone's got any questions, we can help out. Absolutely. Thanks for your time, everyone. Have a good evening. Cheers. Once, once, once again, I really, really appreciate uh, everyone being part of this. It's a huge honor and a privilege and one of the things I'm most grateful for in my life. Have a good evening. Cheers.